Hardin County, we are out on the trail of the Parade of Homes. Uh, we wanted just to kind of let our Hardin local audience know um, that Parade of Homes is happening this weekend and what the Parade of Homes is. So today with me, um, we are out at house number one, uh, but there is no order that you can have or that you have to go in. Uh, but we have Beth Powell's with us as, as well as Rachel Howe. They are part of the Branningham Builders team. So um, Beth, tell us a little bit about the parade, what people uh, can expect and who, who is the audience that should come out and check out these homes? Sure, um, this is our 14th annual Lincoln Trail Home Builders Association Parade of Homes. Uh, this year we have seven beautiful homes. They're all so different, so unique, built by five of the Lincoln Trail Home Builders Association registered builders. So you know the quality and craftsmanship is top notch. Mm -hmm. um, it is a self-guided tour, like you said. So you can start at any of the seven mm -hmm. homes, whichever one is closest to your house, or or if you're going to lunch and hey, we'll just hop on mm -hmm. here at the at the parade trail. You can buy your ticket at any home. Every home will have them for purchase. Mm -hmm. um, so you can make your own little trail and hopefully um, enjoy all the different homes that we yeah. have this year. Yeah. So. Um, kind of part what she's talking about um, each home has this booklet about the houses um, and they have the maps in there um, as well as uh, the builders information all of the sponsors that help make these homes what they are um, Rachel tell me who should come everyone whether you're maybe you're not considering building right off but if you're looking at remodeling, or maybe you just want ideas for the future, mm -hmm. as well as decorating ideas, mm -hmm. it's fun to see what's on trend, mm -hmm. what's in right now. And this year, we've got a huge variety of homes. We've got from um, a smaller homes for new families to retirement type communities. Um, so there's a lot of different options out there, and uh, you can get a wealth of ideas just by coming through these seven homes. Absolutely, and I know you're uh, the main decorator for the brand. Yes, I am. Home. <laughs> so you do such a good job. So Thank you. Uh, speaking of that, let's look around this house. Awesome. So uh, yeah, as we move, just tell me, um, you know, first of all, where we're at. We're at 131 Cedar Ranch Road. Correct. Um, and the influences that the, the um, your clients have picked out for awesome. their house and um, then the influences that you guys like to, uh, to go with. Great. So this home was a custom built home. So we work directly with our client to design the actual floor plan mm -hmm. on all the way through every finish inside the home. So she is over the moon. Uh, and we're excited to get to show it off prior to handing it over to them right after the parade. So some of the things, we're right here in the kitchen right mm -hmm. now, so some of the things that we've got, Walter's Cabinetry did all of the cabinets in the home. Uh -huh. So we've got, uh, they've all got slow closed doors and drawers. Mm -hmm. They're the cherry finish. Your countertops are something unique. They're leathered Alaskan white granite. So we went up and um, we, we got our granite from Trademark and Interesting facts, they're doing about 80% of leathered or honed granite. The, the shiny granite is really not in style anymore. They're seeing it fade further and further out, and they're coming with these new finishes like to it. it. It's, it's got so a texture unique. to it, Yes, but not not too deep where you feel like there's going to be any kind of you know food or anything. Exactly. It, it doesn't show like the shiny shows, cup rings and things. This hides so beautifully. <laughs> so, and it pairs really well with the darker cabinets. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times in a lot of homes, uh, the big style trend right now is going with the lighter cabinets. But there is something traditional and very anchored about a dark cabinet, very timeless. And that's what this client wanted to go for. So they have, they've moved all over the United States and lived in multiple homes. So we try to gear everything in the home to something that will stand the test of time that will travel with, through the rest of their lives with them and they can they don't really have to make a whole lot of changes to the design so yeah. we've got uh, wolf appliances we've kind of got a mixture of appliances so mm -hmm. custom homes are really moving away from one standard brand of appliances so we've got all kinds of different appliances in this house with lots of unique features uh, Bonnie Castle Louisville took care of those for our clients so mm -hmm. that's kind of your kitchen for you this is um, huge this is absolutely beautiful 
And Beth, what's right behind you? There's a, a little they, spare little kitchen area. Yeah, this is what they call a butler's pantry. Um, you've got water. You know, if you're having Thanksgiving dinner, you can come in here, leave some stuff in here, switch stuff out if you need to get something to drink or or just need a smaller sink. Of course, and it leads it right across from the traditional pantry where you mm -hmm. store your food products, you know, your food processor, your mixers, appliances maybe that you don't use quite so often. Mm -hmm. So I know that we have this same type of feature in some of our other homes as well this year. Um, it's pretty popular. Great. Let's uh, sure. move on in to the dining room. This is beautiful. You know, this is kind of a combination of an open floor plan, but yet still a little more traditional with um, with the separate rooms. Mm -hmm. I know um, that's something that I'm seeing more this year in our parade homes than I had in the past. A lot of times you walk in the door and you're in living room, kitchen, everything is one big area. But it seems like this year we have a great combination of homes. We have some that are laid out like that and work very well, function very well if you have, you know, young children, you want to be able to see everybody while you're cooking. But then there are some people that still like a little bit of traditional mm -hmm. homes where they want separate rooms. So when you walk in, you've got an actual dining room that is separate from the living area of the house. But yet in the back of the house, it's open. So you've got a little bit of a combination of both styles that I have seen in our parade homes this year. Yes. So it is a good mix. Okay. Rachel, what do we have over here? So this would be their formal study. They also did made it a dedicated piano room. So that kind of balances out your dining room as you walk in. We did a, a feature wall uh, in the rear of the room uh, just to kind of offset that space. Um, Detail interiors did all the lighting throughout the home, uh, so we have them to thank for those. You do have bamboo flooring, uh, which is kind of a unique uh, floor. We, it's got a lifetime warranty to the finish, so extremely durable. Um, so one of those floorings that you don't have to worry so much with the kids running around and tearing it up. So. Well, where we are is just the right entrance, or the uh, direct entrance, the foyer area. And as soon as you walk in this home, straight ahead, you see big, beautiful windows that bring in this, the best natural light. Um, uh, definitely a big, uh, you know, every home across the board, I would say that every client, one of their number one concerns is making sure that the home is well lit. So every, uh, every client I meet with, whether they're needing a small or large home, usually right up there on the top of their list is we want to get as much natural light into the home as possible. So really looking at the positioning of the home on the lot and being creative with where you place the windows and making sure that um, you're not hitting the harsh sun as well is important. So. And on that note, that is one of the beauty of working with a registered builder because registered builders will be able to work with you and, and ask you, what are you looking for? Are you looking for natural light? They take into consideration where right. to place the home on the lot. So that is definitely one of the benefits of working with one of our Lincoln Trail Home Builders Association mm -hmm. Builders. Right up here, um, if you get the camera over here, you can see um, just this gorgeous staircase. And we won't go upstairs today. We'll, we'll keep some We'll see you that yes. <laughs> Definitely. But yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. It really is. It really is. And we encourage everyone to try to make it out this weekend. I know that we will be here Friday um, from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, our hours are noon to 5. Okay. And like I said, it is a self-guided home mm -hmm. or home tour, so you can start wherever you want at whichever home you want. Tickets are available at each home. Mm -hmm. They're $5 for adults, children 12 and under are free. Um, you can uh, get the directions in the map on our website, which is lincolntrailhva.com. Mm -hmm. There is a link on there that you can just click, and the map and the directions will come up. Once you purchase your ticket, you will get the book, like you had mentioned, and it does have a little more information. It has a, a mm -hmm. map as well with the directions. Yeah. Um, I mean, this, is, this thing is, what, 30 pages? <laughs> you know, and it's a great thing to hang on to, to make notes on, like mm -hmm. she said. Um, most people that come to the parade are looking to get ideas to, you know, they might be in the process of renovating, remodeling, buying, um, building. At some point, they're considering the option of building. Maybe they just want to know, you know, what builders are out there in our community and even 
all the builders are typically in the home, so if there's mm -hmm. questions that they have about how to get started, you know, what's the first step? You know, building can seem like a very overwhelming process, and we can tell you it's not. It's actually um, an extremely exciting, fun, um, and can be, with the help of a Lincoln Control Home Builder, a very seamless process, and it doesn't need to be as difficult as it might seem. So there's lots and lots of information that's going to be available to the people that come this weekend, and we're really excited as a team. Right. So. Yes, we are all excited yes. for you all and Thank you. all of the other builders that are involved. So uh, if anybody has any questions, you can always comment on this post, and we'll put in the comments the, uh, the map image so even if you don't have any of this yet um, you can easily find that in the comments so ladies thank, thank you, you thank all you. very much looking forward to seeing you all yeah, come see us at the parade this weekend